Hello, this is you, Mammy Craft, and today I'm going to be doing a video on how to port forward a Minecraft server. Now, I've done two videos previously. Uh, each time I've improved on it, so now I think I'm going to be able to explain it very easily. Uh, and I hope that I will be able to explain everything very easily, so you can actually understand it compared to my other videos. Uh, but still, if there's any problems uh, whatsoever, just leave a comment in the description, and I will reply as soon as possible okay so I'm going to start off uh, showing the basics of making a server so uh, make a file uh, anywhere it doesn't matter where as long as you can find it again uh, and then you will need to download uh, the minecraft server uh, now this this tutorial will work exactly the same for bucket. Uh, instead of but instead of downloading the Minecraft underscore server dot jar, you will download the bucket from uh, the bucket website. Okay, so I'm going to download the Minecraft underscore server dot jar, and then I am going to place that into my uh, the folder that I created. Okay, now I'm going to rename this. If it has a 1 or any number in brackets, you will have to remove that. Uh, so it just says Minecraft underscore server. And it may not say .jar on yours. Uh, it uh, may be different depending on where you have your organization set to. So you just load it, wait for the world to load. And then once this is finished, then you can simply go ahead and close it. Just gonna wait for the normal world to render. There you go. So you just type for you just type stop then, and that stops the server. It's surprisingly taking a long time to close, which is odd. So then it's just saving the world as it is and just cl close that okay so as you will see then once you've closed that down it's created all these files by here those and those three by there so this one is your world uh, these two uh, band stuff that's who's OP server log you don't need to worry about whitelist that's basically if you're going to limit the uh, people who come on the server uh, but this is the one we want server.properties if you go in here you already have a bunch of stuff typed out for you now this is where we want to uh, add stuff in front of the server dash IP okay so now you need to get your uh, um, run screen uh, up so you can do this either by typing run in here or and clicking on that or hold down the windows key on your keyboard and press R I'll also bring it up and you just need to type it type in cmd and then I'll bring up the cmd command by here then and then you want to type ip con con fig f i g okay that then 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 it'll bring this up now it's very impro important that you scroll all the way to the top because a lot of people only scroll this far I think this is the IPv4 address they should use and it's not and they need to scroll all the way to the top which is by here and they need to use these set of results by here okay so first thing you do basically is type in the IPv4 from the top of the CMD Let's type in the IPv4 which is that uh, by here so I'm going to go ahead and type that in now I'll probably spell it um, I'll type it wrong um, okay, I th think that does look right. Now I'm just going to copy this uh, so it's easier to use in the future. And then you will need to go on to your internet. And this is where the hard stuff starts. Okay, now you see the um, default gateway by here. You want to copy that exact default gateway number into your browser. Now the, I think it should work on browser of any choice, uh, any type. Uh, but you simply type that in and then it'll bring you up this now I do believe uh, that for default for sky servers um, the username would be admin and I'd be the password either 123 or sky um, 
so try multiple um, configurations of them. Uh, you can search because there are different variations for different parts of the world, but it's normally admin and sky123, I think it's sky, blah, blah. okay, so you log in, uh, and then you go on to security, uh, services, and you want to add a custom service. Now you can type this wherever you want, it doesn't matter at all what you name it, I'm just going to call it Minecraft. Uh, it needs to be on both TCP and UDP. Uh, so start port is 25565 and end port is 25565. And those those are the ports that are default used by Minecraft. And they are... This should be by... Here we go. Server port. Server port 25565. But if um, if your 25565 port is already used, you simply change it by here, so so it's different, and then you change it the same on here. Then, so you apply that, and you want to go onto your firewall rules, and I'll bring up this. It doesn't matter if there are different stuff typed in your uh, to begin with; it doesn't matter at all. So you want to add an outbound service, or yeah, and then select the Minecraft or whatever you named it uh, in the services uh, and click on that and you want to change this to allow always and then the rest you can leave empty and just click apply and you want to add another one to the inbound services uh, and then allow always set your Minecraft for the service and then you want to type in here it says center land server you want to type your IPv4 address you want to type that one so I'm going to type mine in um, you may need to make it full screen to see the last one because if you go like that look it just pops it down there so it doesn't actually get rid of it anyway you just put it down the row next to it so, um, oh, I'm typing this wrong, aren't I? Um, there you go. Uh, and make sure everything's allow, always allow. Click on apply. And you click the apply by here, then we make sure everything is doubly applied. Uh, and then we should go to what is my IP.org. That is what is my IP dot org, not dot com, not what is my IP has to specifically be what is my IP dot O R G. And it has to be that. It can't be anything else. And you go on there. Now this IP by here is the IP that you would give your friends or what or whoever want to join your server. People have to type in this IP by here of what is my IP .org. they type in this IP if they want to join your server now if you're you're hosting it and you want to join your server most the majority of the time this IP does work by here but if you are trying to join your own server and it will not work with this IP simply try your IP before address and the chances are that it will work straight away so I'm going to launch my Minecraft now uh, Fraps may jump to Minecraft, but I think it should carry on recording the entire screen. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go to my server by you and edit it. Uh, I think it's I think it's the same still. Yeah. So typed in the server address from by there, and now it's got to uh, close down and save. Yes, we want to save. I shall launch my server. Make sure it's loaded before we go on there. Close this down there. And then we should be able to join our server. And there you have it. Perfect. Um, uh, I would ask my friends to join, but uh, I believe none of them are on Skype at the moment. Uh, I'm uh, I ensure you that this does work 100% because my friends have been on uh, my server by here, and this is pretty much this is exactly the same as the other one. 
Um, but I'll just quickly show you that the IPv4 address will work to connect your own server as well. Now, it may not work for me, it only works for some people if it's broken sometimes, but I, the chances are it should work for me in my IPv4 address, and there we go. So the IPv4 address will work if you're hosting it yourself, uh, but uh, and then if your friends want to join, they need the IP of what is my IP .org. Now you will not believe how many times people have got what is my IP .org completely wrong. It will the link will be in the description for it, uh, as well as Minecraft on that download page. Um, so I'm pretty sure I covered everything. If if there's something I missed or there's something you want me to do a separate video on. Um, please leave a comment in the description uh, if you have any trouble um, with anything you may think I know the answer to. Uh, just leave a comment in the description and I'll make a video on it if you ask me to. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please comment and subscribe. I'd just like to add a, a side note that uh, I did say it before, but this will work with bucket and any type of servers. It'll just be exactly the same. Instead of typing the IPv4 address into your server.properties, you'll type it onto the server.properties of a bucket server. Right there. So, thanks for watching. Please comment and subscribe. And goodbye.